chocolatey. Thank you so much. I'm like literally, oh, I'm like, my heart is pumping so much right now. Like, I okay, guys, the last clip I shared um, was my team meeting with Team Reform. They're doing these meetings once a month where they put all the coaches and all the athletes on a meeting. And there was like 160 or plus people. It was seriously just like such a cool experience because you have that many like-minded people all in the same place, just so grateful and humble and hardworking. And it just makes you want to keep pushing and striving more. So it was just a really great night um right before right after I took right after I took that video my coach actually like called me out for the whole team just saying how I've like stepped up for people and just brought my heart through to like every person that might possibly need it and that just like truly meant so much to me because I decided like months ago that as I just integrate into this team that I just my whole priority is I want to make these people feel as seen and cared for as they've made me feel and so feeling like I'm accomplishing that has just meant like the world to me so I feel like I just feel so freaking blessed. Like, I can't even explain it. So, yeah, I'm fired the fuck up. I am so ready to just take the next two and a half months by the freaking throat and just run. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that because I was just really excited. And, like, if you're, whether you're a prep competitor or you're just somebody in, the fitness space and you want to get in shape or you're in shape and you want to be pushed further um this team has completely changed my life and um i recommend it to anybody and everybody whether you're in shape or want to get in shape it will do nothing but take your life so much further what's up guys uh it is monday the 8th may 8th we're just under 10 weeks out from our show, which is so crazy. I just feel like now after we pass the 12 week mark, time is just flying by. Update on how I am feeling. Um, I'm waking up with a lot of energy and I have a lot of energy around my meals, which ob like obviously. My energy though gets just like drained so fast. So like this past weekend, I traveled home from my brother and his girlfriend. They are moving to North Carolina. So they had a big going away party. Um, and so that was really, I'm so glad, like happy that I got to be a part of it. Cause I would have been really sad to like not go and see them off and everything just because of prep. Like, but by like the end of it, I'm just like tapped out. Like sentences are not being formed <laughs> so that's hard but now like today for an example so ate my meals was feeling really good really energized then I was like oh cool I have all this energy like I want to take my dog for a walk and we just do like a normal two mile walk nothing intense it's on pavement I'm not like hiking with her and halfway through I'm just like like plummeting my energy is like tapped like I'm gassed just trying to walk with her um and it's just like it just you just feel like your whole entire body has been emptied out <laughs> it's like the weirdest feeling and there's no like warning it just like happens um I'm trying to really like find the patterns of when I feel like that and I'm hoping by like recording these and putting these in my my series that I'll be able to look back and see the pattern a little bit better as I continue to prep and do shows um, because I, I want to find that pattern so that I can better plan my day 
and plan when I have to do things um, and just making sure I set myself up for success. Like we have all the indicators are being told to us by our, our bodies and it is our responsibility to figure out what makes us tired, what makes us energized and you know, life doesn't stop so you still have to get your shit done. So um, I just wanna make sure that I'm just like doing my best to set myself up for success. Cause I think it's really easy to get down on yourself during prep to think like, I'm always tired, I'm always exhausted. And those times might come towards the end, but I want to put that off as long as I can. So <laughs> let's go do our legs. So now I have to go destroy my legs. I still have to do cardio when I get home, eat my fourth and fifth meal and then go to bed and hopefully wake up tomorrow at the right time. My goal tomorrow is we're not sleeping through alarms, we're waking up, we're checking in, and we're going straight to the gym. I'm gonna see how much better I do with my energy levels if I get all that done out of the way first thing in the morning. That has been my goal for like two weeks and I have not been able to pull it off yet, but maybe tomorrow is the day. Okay, I'm going now. Goodbye. Those are the only changes this week, which is kind of exciting because I don't want my food to go down yet. I'm enjoying exactly what I'm eating. Um, Energy-wise, I am definitely experiencing my energy dropping quickly. And that's only gonna like keep getting more intense as we go through. So I'm just gonna be as open with you guys as I can. Um, there's nothing wrong with this process. It is, you know, more extreme and I'm obviously training to get to a stage lean and a stage physique, which is not like an everyday physique. Um, and so that means, you know, pushing past normal limits, pushing past, you know, areas where you're at usually comfortable and, and pushing a bit harder. And um, I'm excited about that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying following along. Um, I'm really enjoying sharing all of it with you guys, and I just hope that at the end of this, it maybe inspires somebody to try something that they've never tried, push themselves harder than they've ever pushed, and it doesn't have to have anything to do with competition or training. I just hope that it inspires you to just push yourself out of your comfort zone, because you just learn so much about yourself, so. Love y'all. We're back. We are back. He <laughs> goes back. Couples chat. We're going to talk about 11 weeks out because I'm 10 weeks out now. So tell us, how did last week go for you as the partner? Most days went really well, except for one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like a brief moment. We traveled a couple hours to go see her family. Um, was it the drive there or back? Drive there. It was the drive there. We had a moment. <laughs> yes. They're always like, we had a moment. Yeah, it was a moment. <laughs> They're always just moments. They pass. Uh, we leave to go to my family. 5 a.m. Yeah, at 5 a.m. 
I brought four, leave by five. Yeah, and I bring all my food with me, so like once I'm there, I'll have my first meal. It's kind of like how I structured it, which now we know. The starvation <laughs> starts sinking in really quickly. Um, she had to go, she, so she starts on an empty stomach, right? So she just starts ooh, shutting down, she's yeah. like, cold. That's <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, so it's just, you know, we're halfway to the drive. She has to go to the bathroom really bad. I'm trying to find a, a place to pull over. Uh, she wants me to speed up, but I, I literally can't because the car's in front of me. So I also I'm, have the dog on my lap. The dog on my lap. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's starting to become a little stressful. It's like, hey, we need an attitude adjustment right now. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to change until she went to the bathroom. So finally, we get there. She's... Walking to the bathroom. It sounds like a four-year-old. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty much. I'm dying. <laughs> but she goes to the bathroom and immediately she realizes, like, ah, I'm, yeah, this sucks. I'm, I'm already sorry for that. Yeah. But uh, I know halfway through, you're gonna regret this. No, I'm gonna be upset at how I handled the situation and I'm gonna have to fucking eat crow and apologize <laughs> and I'm gonna feel guilty about it. So luckily Nico is an angel and like once I apologize it's just like we move on and it's not nothing. Yeah it, it, it was done with dealt with and we <laughs> move on. This was a big learning week of when my calories drop how quick the fatigue sets in and how quickly like my mindset shifts that I like was not expecting at all. So now I know yeah. I'm at that stage and that is what happens and I can like adjust because um, it really sucks coming on these videos. <laughs> I mean, to oh, read, we're gonna have more. I mean, to read this, I, it's like, guaranteed shit. it's gonna happen again. Bro, my laundry is just being aired. <laughs> I'm gonna be positive. Mm. <laughs> still dialed in your your mindset is right where you want it to be you know you've even said it that you feel like you're in a better place than you ever have been in before in your life and so I mean that's a huge positive and um, you just have to not lose sight of that and just stay focused and I still love you I still love you <laughs> <laughs> yeah later Bye. you guys it's been a fucking morning already <laughs> Luckily, it was my last exercise, but I walked into one of the squat bars because it was like where it was racked and I was putting, I was re-racking a 45 and went to bend down and didn't see like the edge of it and like literally stabbed my forehead. And then this morning I realized that sometime this week I used my hip thrust pad and left it somewhere, so I have no idea where that is. Yesterday, I like kept leaving the car without my keys. Like, prep brain is starting, and this is so fucking annoying. Hey guys, I feel like I haven't recorded that much this week. Um, it's been like a weird week for me. Uh, I think the last clip I took was me leaving the gym after hitting my head. <laughs> And I was so mad and embarrassed. Luckily, it was like the end of my lift. But yeah, I was like pissed. So the scratch doesn't look that bad. And like, honestly, the bump is way better t today. But yesterday, it was like a knot on my forehead. And actually, like when I got home from hitting my head, I felt so weird like I just did not feel good I had like such a bad headache and like just almost like woozy so I, I like hit it pretty hard I like fell over but anyways I just think like that happened and then I'm like starting to get used to my new macros this week and my cardio being upped and then TMI I started my cycle so it's been like an up and down up and down of like my energy levels um, I hit a new low today. Um, today's Friday. Um, so technically tomorrow I'll end up being nine weeks out. I am at 124.1. So I don't know why this morning I had a pretty heavy leg workout and then I went and did my cardio and it just like 
wrecked me. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but Nico went to the gym. He's on his way back to pick me up because he's an angel. And we're going to go to the grocery store. Thank God he's driving me because I'm operating on like three brain cells. I swear to God. I need supervision. <laughs> so he's taking me. And then his mom comes into town today, which is so exciting. And she'll be here for the weekend. She hasn't visited us since we moved here to um, San Diego. So it's her first time seeing everything in our new place, in our new city. So it's going to be some good quality time with mamas. And that's about it. So I'm wrapping this vlog up. I think that's what I'm deciding right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all.